what is up gamers zenith here so balance yeah where do i start so the main problem uh, with balance uh, i think right now is the so-called back and forth balance system where you buff a card or nerf a card and then the next patch you basically nerf it again or buff it again so the best example uh, or the example that i will talk about is giant scarab so in the past uh, this uh, card was completely unplayable it was like two or three i don't know i can't remember but it was really bottom tier card uh, then the card got buffed uh, to three five and big surprise uh, it became top tier card the patch after this card was nerfed uh, to 3 3. So you get the point. I mean, um, I don't see the, the point of uh, such balance changes, uh, but there are too many of them. Uh, and yeah, you s spend so much time focusing on uh, particular cards that, are, uh, that weren't even the problem in the, fir in the first place. Like Twister, for example, in the past uh, was uh, buffed basically, so it was nerfed again. Sickle Stalker, same story. Um, and yeah, the, <laughs> the other problem is the some balance changes that don't make much sense. It's basically like if you if you would spin a wheel and you would pick a card uh, which you want to. Uh, buff or nerf that way mm, I mean I, I don't know I, I guess there are some st uh, stats or data for some of those cards but in reality it, uh, such changes don't make much sense and uh, for examples uh, for that uh, I want to give uh, Baldur so the 7 mana legendary light minion uh, which nerf made no sense I mean it saw zero play and uh, the guy has been nerfed on top of that. Uh, and the previous, like this, uh, this change was a few months ago, uh, Prince of Rex. So it used to be a 1 2 minion. Uh, and the guy was okay. Like I played the card, it was doing decent. And uh, now it got, <clears throat> it got buffed to uh, 2 2. And now it's like top 10 cards in the game, basically. The reason why no one complains about Prince of Rags is because, uh, you know, he's punching you by two each turn, not that big of, big of a deal. And yeah, but the guy is actually top tier card for no good reason. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm mad. Uh, how can you fix that? I mean, the solution is easy. For example, if uh, uh, let's say I skipped, uh, uh, yeah, let's take me as an as an example. Uh, let's say, yeah, I'm top tier player at the moment, la la la, uh, and suddenly I stopped playing, uh, and I stopped uh, stopped playing a game for four months, let's say, and then when I come back, my friend here, <laughs> Trok, is grinding it like you know, going for it, so, and uh, me as a returning player, the natural reaction would be to, hey, Trok must know, uh, must have a better clue uh, of this balance patch uh, in comparison to me, you know, like, let's copy or let's see what Trok is doing so that I can adjust and uh, make my own uh, strategy based off uh, uh, his, for example. Uh, in my head, I can be the best player possible, but uh, it's just delusional, you know, to like, uh, if somebody is playing uh, five times more than you are, uh, you know, I mean, you get the point, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And uh, that's it. Yeah, so small rant. I mean, um, yeah, the other thing is that uh, you could co completely screw everything that uh, I said in this video simply because uh, 
So imagine that you own the Rune Strike or the company or whatever, and uh, look at your competition. So you have uh, Hearthstone, uh, uh, Magic, uh, la la la, and some pretty big games that uh, will come up uh, later. So like Bazaar and uh, the Marvel Snap. So you must ask yourself uh, if you're the owner, if you were the owner, how can you actually compete versus those games? So first you have the magnificent game speed, game time, and the very fluid. Uh, very res the game is very responsive. You don't need to click two times to check cards and so on. Those two are the best things game-wise. Uh, from strategic uh, standpoint, you can't actually compete versus those games uh, PvP-wise or or uh, in a competitive aspect, let's say. So the best way I I believe uh, that you can compete uh, with those games is the PvE concept, because uh, none of those games really have the well-developed uh, PvE concept or PvE concept at all. Uh, except for the Hearthstone, but uh, you can, you, uh, yeah, Runestrike has a big potential, uh, PvE-wise. Which is uh, funny, because m almost 90% of my feedbacks in the past and still are the PvP-related. But yeah, uh, I think that as a PvE game, Runestrike has a great potential. Um, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, my little rant, uh, and uh, yeah, see ya.